Um, yeah, so who, who am I? Um, I? I'm not going back to me. Skimming is really like really fucking easy, basically. Um, 
or you can build some hardware with some brute force and unique identifier. So it will find a unique identifier from someone else, which is into a bank account which has some money on it. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, buy food on the cost of somebody else. Um, it's maybe the other edges, which are like kind of sharp, mm -hmm. and the edges is where you like beat yourself really quickly. So we saw this side. So <laughs> now let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Um, so basically, that's my idea. It's um, I didn't contact them yet about anything. It was like if they really want to upgrade some stuff in the infrastructure, uh, but they will not be able to see this video somewhere, um, and uh, then we'll see what happens. I guess. Well, do you think this? Is good? <laughs> so another thing is, um, I was busy um, with some stuff in the comics, um, some activist group in Sweden, the world, everywhere, and um, they were busy with um, some operations of Syria. And what I found is that they used a lot of firewalls in blue code. Um, blue code basically. Um, they are not allowed to sell the appliances directly to Syria, so they will sell it to someone in the United Arab States and from the States there to ship to Syria. Um, there's a lot more firewalls there, um, but I've chosen it with a reason. Um, so I've chosen by fair, I, by fair, die for all, it's a bit of a joke. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was really cool. Basically, what Proxy asks to get the is is Proxy SD provides complete control of all of your web traffic with robust features that include user authentication, web filtering, data loss prevention, inspection and validation of SSL encrypted traffic used in Syria to track citizens. <laughs> and basically the thing is um, <coughs> that everything is meant in the middle there. So if you tweet something bad about, um, let's say, uh, about the president, um, they will send a dead squad to your house because everything is locked. Um, so that's pretty fucked up. So that's why um, I wanted to, if we could maybe like disable the firewalls, so um, and like completely all and all left them, so they have no like no fucking clue like how they would update the appliances. So you can actually download them um, some firmware for my uh, for my site for my site. Um, if you want to take a look yourself, uh, basically I will focus at um, one, one um, version of the firmware, which is uh, the C8K uh, version, the uh, 5.5 one, uh, which is compressed with GSET. And it's also from version 6.0, uh, it contains signed firmware um, that haven't been cracked yet, and I don't really know yet how to do it. Uh, so from find out their way sometime in the future, I hope. So, I will focus on the 5.5 for a moment. Uh, but yeah, how? After unpacking, I was a bit puzzled. I didn't really know how to deal with it, um, how to look further. Um, I, could, I, I could not mount it, um, so it's like, okay, maybe it has some sort of compression on it, maybe like something like, um, C lib or uh, whatever you have. Um, it wasn't obfuscated. Um, it wasn't really compressed, although I saw some um, some strings which is used to compress some certain parts of um, of the appliance, the binary. Um, I'm not sure actually because when I used um, strings on it, I can see all the files on it. I can see all the commands which I can't, could be used. I could all see the other HTML files. They're like, okay, uh, this didn't really help me. So I started to Google and to Google and I came out with a tool which is called Pinwalk. A Pinwalk basically is a tool <coughs> which is used um, to see um, what is inside um, a firmware file. So basically if you download firmware from um, say your router, uh, from some sort of Thompson router, you could download it to Upgrade it, but you don't really know like what's in it. Maybe you want to take a look at it, or you want to modify some things. You could um, download Pinwalk and run it against the file, and it will indicate like 
what type of fast system it is, um, what are the other offsets of like uh, the cookie loader, etc. Et uh, but it didn't really help for me because um, it's basically focused for small for small firmwares, and this one is like quite big, it's like 250 MB. So it kind of crashed and kind of hanged, so it didn't really come further, and it gave a lot of false positives. So yeah, Google time. Um, so I found some sort of tool from someone else, which was presented um, at some Indonesian conference, um, I think a month before I can watch in Malaysia, uh, from some Indonesian guy, and he basically found some tool to extract certain parts from the file. And it extracts some DOL files and extracts some other contents. Um, I have to say, I did do most of this research like last night. But I, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a bit unfinished actually. Um, but it's still like a work in progress. But um, I will update it on my I will update it on my blog. Oh, blog. Uh, so what it does, it, it reads the file. Uh, it extract all the files inside it, and after that you could correct the checksum and the MD5, which is basically the license type of system. So it will check um, the appliance if it's a valid firmware, and if you have paid for your license. But of course I haven't, I have found on some random site of someone in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Which was basically um, some sort of conference for these type of guys. So they have like this entire list of a lot of firmware from a lot of companies, like I don't know, like Fortinet, um, by Buddha Systems or Networks or something like that. So it's like this entire list of like, oh, look, look at firmware, let's take a look at it. Um, so yeah, uh, the protection mechanism basically uh, has two MD5 heads. Um, I think the, uh, one, is, one of them is for the bootloader, uh, one checks the integrity um, of the file, of the file system, which is basically I think um, the checksum and uh, one MD5 has, but I'm not sure yet. So um, I will update you guys later on at some, some point in time in the future. Um, another thing was like I could not really find a license file. So what I did is, um, I went to eBay, <laughs> <laughs> it actually worked, um, and someone like really fucking stupid um, uploaded like this entire list of OS serial files and license numbers to the internet. Um, you could, I, I, you can like really see it, because it's like, right, messed up, I, 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 I what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Macbook, okay. <laughs> Uh, but you can read the serial number, so it basically means that if you maybe set up something like some fake security website, that you have some fake security firm, and say like, hey, um, we have bought this appliance second hand, but I want to have uh, access to the latest firmware files, and you request the register, register with um, the serial licenses, they will probably give you an account so you can download most of the firmware files. Um, I haven't tried it out yet. Are you going to try it? You can maybe twist it for it. It's on camera, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Possible deniability. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, what's in the file when I expected it? Um, there's a lot of files actually. Um, uh, one of them is the bootloader, uh, which is the um, CN1000MC boot 1.98, which is basically supported by open. WBRT, so I will probably look into that, like <coughs> how it could like reverse the bootloader and all that. Um, it runs on KVM processors, which is basically used by a lot of these appliances, like big appliances. It's is um, some sort of a PGA system. Uh, the other one is on CN Lite MC SSL, which is I think it's an KVM SSL accelerator on some um, external FPGA, but I'm not sure yet. It's just an indication. Um, it runs on OpenSSL, that thing, um, and it's actually not on the OpenSSL site anymore, so I'm kind of puzzled because I can't find the source code to look for bugs. 
Um, so if anybody has it, um, I can add. <laughs> and some other of DLLs and archives with goodies. One of them is on this is page.dll and storage.dll. And one of the funny things about the storage is that if you look at the strings, um, you will look that you can find out that it has like a C drive, an E drive, and C drive, and whatever. Uh, but when it's extracted, um, you only get like a small amount of files. So I think um, the code from the Indonesian guy uh, only looks for certain parts um, of extensions, like the DRL or DOR or .ca or um, archive, and extract that. Uh, but when I tried to extract it with the app, it gave me a lot of mess of files, basically. So um, I'm trying to work with them um, to provide some better upgraded tool to extract like all the good stuff. And hope you can mount it at some point. This is basically what I want. I don't want to export all the files. I want to mount it. So I can look at all the, all the fun stuff. Is this tool uh, checking the total buffer of, of data and tries to find signatures for executables or DLLs and yeah, see basically the offset of yeah, the offset, yeah. Of all the files. Okay. So, okay. so that's what we are trying to do. Find a better tool for it. Um, so since I started this research like a few days back, I didn't really play with either pro on the DLLs yet. So I will do that later. Um, so yeah, it's not really complete because the strings proved me wrong and I need some more time. Uh, but at some point I think that if I manage to find some bugs in it, uh, which I probably will, I think, um, it's probably, I think it's game over for blue code uh, for the 5.0 firmware. Let's do that, uh, we need to look at the 6.0 firmware, which has um, some signs stuff, um, which has you need a license file and it's much better encrypted and compressed. I probably have some sort of SOA and SOA encryption on the file. This probably isn't like really hardcore. It's not So, um, yeah. Can take five. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to share any zero days if you find any? Yeah, of course, man. Do you just know about this? Huh? Do teachers know about this? <laughs> teachers, they don't give a crap. I don't give a crap about them either. Why well, guess they saw you video. <laughs> is it known what version Syria uses? And is it possible to test which version of Bluecut is running? Yes. Um, <clears throat> so most of them are outdated appliances who don't have any legitimate serials. So they use outdated um, appliances from the 5.5 um, firmware of files. So basically they don't use like the newer stuff. Okay. So it's kind of sort of trivial to um, exploit the firewall. I think it's done. Are they only working on blue code stuff or, or is there also There's more another in the pipeline? Hmm? There's more in the pipeline. Okay. But, so this basically keeps can also be used for, for other time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and most of the stuff, like Pinwalk, is an amazing tool, but it needs, some, it needs a lot of work, basically. Um, <laughs> and another tool which is um, for Pinwalk uh, is the firmware modification tool, where Pinwalk is, um, is part of. Mm -hmm. And it basically allows you that um, if you could manage to extract other files from um, your firmware, you can extract it. You can, um, with a tool, you could add other files to it, so you could for your own firmware or your own appliances, like like your mini router somewhere, Thompson, whatever. You want a copy of a Qantas appliance? Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> On the trade serial days. Yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks.